What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel and I love martial arts, like so much. Which makes total sense considering I've been training for the vast majority of my life. 20 years is a milestone I am very proud of. And who wouldn't love getting scratches in your lip from fighting people in the ring? Like, you know, it's the best. Yes, it's just a cut, relax, I'll be okay. A wise man once said it, if you're gonna do something, never do it for free. And so I took that and went full send, and now I'm able to make a full-time living using my martial arts training. And for those of you that want to do the same, I got you. So let's go over five of the different ways that you can make money with your martial arts training. First, we have teaching. This one is an obvious one and probably the most common. There are lots of ways to get into instructing. Many schools have a leadership program or some kind of uh, class designed to help you learn how to teach you know, with no experience. So maybe that's just helping the main instructor in your class or teaching maybe the lower ranks as you get more comfortable and eventually getting certified as a full instructor. And in fact, this is how many schools actually grow. They go from inside. And so as they expand or open up new branches, they may take the students that they trained up to be instructors and use them in other classes. Maybe you'll get your chance to open up your own school that way. And if you already have experience teaching and don't really have a lot of time to spend training a whole new style, then just look around. There are lots of schools out there looking for experienced instructors to hire onto their team. And of course, private lessons are also a great option. You can of course do them in person if you have a location or a yard or maybe even just a park with a nice big area. Or you can do them like I do them over Zoom. Now there does come a caveat, you can't teach everything over Zoom. Like you're not really able to spar people over Zoom. So if you wanna teach something like sparring or self-defense, Zoom may not work the best, but if you want to teach something like weapon tricks, maybe that's exactly what you're looking for. Either way you go, private lessons is a great way to get some extra cash to help pay some bills. And if you're actually looking for private lessons, just shoot me a message on Instagram or send me an email at the email down in the description below and I'll get back to you as fast as I can. Yes, shameless plug is shameless. Next, we have stunt work. This one can be a little harder to get into without having some context in the film industry already but it's still a great option because once you do eventually get in it is extremely rewarding knowing how to fall and throw people maybe even take and throw punches or kicks and make it all look good is a skill that the film industry is always looking for especially with the success of the superhero movie genre in the past couple decades but like i said starting out in the industry can be challenging depending on where you live but it can be done even if you live somewhere like nowhere like I started my film industry, my film career in Arkansas. Yeah, yeah, Arkansas. But now I made it to a point where I'm acting and stunting into films that make it into like national competition. So, you know, you can go anywhere if you put in the work. So if you want me to make a full video on how you can start your own stuntman career, get this video to, I don't know, 50 likes and I'll let you know exactly what you need to do or at least what I did to get to where I am currently. Next, you're gonna wanna compete and more specifically, get sponsored. Now this one is hard because it requires you to not only have knowledge of your martial art, but be able to do it at a professional level. There are many major competitions all around the country and even in some cases the world that you can go and make your name for yourself. But just like how martial arts training isn't easy, this won't be easy either. Some of the guys you'll be competing against are crazy good in the sport martial arts world. So you will have to bring your A game. And for some, another hurdle might be the challenge of even being able to afford going to the competitions in the first place. Because I mean, unless you're already like famous, you're not gonna get sponsored before going to your first competition. It's just not gonna happen. So unless you're super lucky, you're gonna have to front the early costs on your own. And take it from me, Tournaments are not cheap, but at the top level, you can get brand deals brought onto TV shows, hired for seminars, and lots of other things that only top level competitors can do to make money. Next, we have security. Being the guy to protect the staff at bars or clubs, or even hired to protect famous people. But sadly, the challenge with this one is that it's not just about your martial arts ability. In fact, it's a lot to do with what you look like just as much as your ability to protect people. I mean, half of being a bouncer is 
looking like a bouncer. Because if people are afraid to try and fight you, oftentimes that's enough to stop the altercation way before it even begins. And that's kind of what they really wanna do. So this one is very dependent on your looks, but if you can pull off the part, this is a great way to make some extra cash on the side. And depending on the type of security you do, this could be like a full-time six-figure career. And lastly, we have the influencer. Now I'm gonna be honest, this one requires a lot of time. Yes, every now and then someone gets lucky on TikTok and has a viral video that pops off. But being a true content creator, is a whole lot more than just one viral video. In order to consistently make money from social media, you need to be able to consistently produce videos with a lot of views. And so it will truly take some time and effort to learn and master how to successfully do this online, learning how to record yourself, speak well, you know, actually produce videos, all of that takes time to learn. But once you're able to do that, it could be a super fun and very rewarding way to make some money. It could only be a couple hundred dollars in the beginning, but it has the chance to grow to millions of dollars in the industry. So who wouldn't want to take a stab in the dark and see what they can get? And if you're looking for some resources to help you become a content creator and social media influencer, my friend and fellow martial artist Gino the Filipino has a great course on this that you can check out in the description below. And of course, don't forget to hit me with that HBO special. So help a brother out and drop a like, a comment, and subscribe so you see my next video. But until next time, my name is DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja. And I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one that you people think you'll also really enjoy. Or check out this one about what martial arts you should train. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.